you take the job on day one, what is the highest priority at the top of your list? That's a good question. Um, you know, I, I think a theme is going to be stewardship. You know, we, we, have, we have resources. We have to steward them well. I really believe if we steward the resources we have well, people will see that will become a good investment and people will give us more. People in Hawaii are very generous and very giving, um, but everyone likes a good investment. So it's just basically steward what we have, because we do have a lot, but, um, but we, like I said, just stewardship. I, I think I think among all plans, it's stewardship in in, 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 finan in your finances, how you spend them. It's it's stewardship in relationships. It's um you know a lot of people say that the biggest problem is the budget deficit. Well, that's a that's an issue, but I think the the, the real issue is doing the best with what you have and growing it. Yes, Dan. When do you when do you plan to have a permanent basketball team? Well, I I, I if my understanding is that we will um. Uh, post the job today. Good. We'll post the job today, and uh, you know, hopefully as expeditiously as possible. I think there's, it's got to be posted for ten days, so hopefully it will be quick. But um, the process will start today. Hey, congratulations, first off. Thanks. Do you see this as a position where you'll have time to uh, ease your way in, or do you feel like you got to hit the ground running and you've got some immediate action items? I don't. I think. I think it's the latter. I think you kind of, kind of hit the ground running very quickly. Yeah. So, I'm going to sleep for the next. I'm going to rest up before I officially start. But the, you know, obviously, we start right now. But I don't think that. I think you got to hit the ground running. Yes. You mentioned some former ADs in your speech mm -hmm. and what they've taught you. What have they said about the challenges in this position? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Um, you know. I mentioned Jim Donovan and Hugh Yoshida. Uh, worked with them both. Um, they're concerned for my health, <laughs> to be honest with you. And they're good friends. And um, you know, there, there's, you know, in all honesty, that's really what it, they're concerned for me as a person. They know this job is challenging. They've been there. Um, at the end of the day, what they both told me in their own way was, David, you have to be yourself. You have to be yourself, and um, I think those are wise words. And I think they are right. I think I'm going to have to uh, make sure my body is in good shape physically and mentally. So, yes, Jim. Um, you have great compassion for Hawaii, and you also have great contact among the power conferences and among the uh, people at the NCAA because of the sanctions that are still hanging over us like the sword of Damocles. Have you had any contact at all with the, N with the NCAA concerning that? I always need a th th thesaurus when I talk to you. So um, I, I, have not, I have not yet. I, I need to get up to speed very quickly. I mean, I've read the 46-page, um, you know, about the basketball program. I've read that and studied that. Um, I will ask a lot of questions. I, I do have a relationship with the conferences and NCAA. Um, that's something that we, we obviously we got to tackle quickly. I'm not 100% in the know on everything, but um, I'm uh, I'm confident that uh, you know most of the information is there and, it, and it's something that we need to uh, resolve as quickly as possible. Kind of touching yeah. upon that, um, you also have contacts within ESPN and the power conferences. Um, how do you plan to use those? Any way I can, um, you know. Um, you know, I've worked with ESPN for 13 years. Uh, Pete Derzis, uh, Clint Overby, um, so many great people. So you know, they're they're um, they're great partners to Hawaii. I mean, leaving, I had a great job. You know, I had a great job work, working with them, working for great people. This is a great opportunity. I, I know that um, I have a feeling what ESPN is looking for in opportunities. At the end of the day, these partnerships have to be win-win. I know that Pete is bullish in Hawaii and I'm doing business in Hawaii. He's demonstrated that for 13 years. So uh, I, I think the sky's the limit. We're limited by our creativity and just really doing a model that's a win-win. As far as, um, you know, the, um, my dad taught me a long time ago. Um, all business, but especially this business, is about information, and it's about 
having contacts, having people you can call, whether they're commissioners of conferences, um, ESPN, uh, former athletic directors, um, and that's very valuable. So just reaching out to them and, and being mentored by them, and, and but also um, learning what's going on in the landscape. And we're in the middle of the Pacific. We need to be plugged in even more so than others. We need to work harder at it, I believe, and I, and I will do that. Dave, over the past decade and a half, some really good men have come in here and tried to tackle the budget deficit. Uh, and if I may, another Greek analogy, it seems to see some in past. How do you tackle it? How do you, how do you push that rock up and get it over? How do you do it without burning? Getting too close to the sun. Um, you know, uh, I. I there's no question, Our mo we need to relook at our model. You've probably heard that before. I mean, there's percentages out there you can say that how we're institutionally funded compared to others. I think it all just comes back down to the, what I said earlier. It's about stewardship. It's about demonstrating that we're getting the most of what we have and that we are a good investment. And I do believe the people of Hawaii will support that. And we, we will get more. We have to relook at our model. We have to, there's new creative ideas and opportunities. There's some ideas that I have that I'd like to do. I don't want to say what they are right now because I don't want anyone else to do them before we do them because I think there's some opportunities. But at the end of the day, I think it does come down to stewardship and uh, maximizing what you have, and then I think people will invest more. You call this job daunting, you had a great career. Why do you feel the need to take on such a monumental task? That's a really good question, and I wrestled with that before I put my application <laughs> up a long time, and my wife and I had some a lot of conversations. Um, you know, it's an incredible opportunity. I. I, I, you know, some people say it's a dream job. I say it's a dream opportunity. I think that's a quote that you, that, that, that will come out. Um, you know, I, deep down, I have a deep faith and belief that you know we're here to make a difference in whatever role we have. Uh, I felt that I could do that. I did that when I was in the ticket office. I felt I did that when when I was here as a casual hire in 1993 after leaving the Houston Astros and was being paid six dollars an hour. I feel a calling to make a difference, and I think this is a great forum, to not, just not to make a difference for UH student athletes, which is where our role is, the athletic department, the university, but the state of Hawaii, and if you can change a state, you can you can change a country, if you change a country, you can change a world. That's a pretty awesome thing. There's no magic bullets here. It's not about Dave Matlin. I mean, it, it, people talk about who's the best AD to do this job, Who you know, who's got all the skills? Nobody does, and, and myself included, but, um, but if we all get rolling in the right direction to use it, that, you know, that, that analogy, um, I think we can move mountains. Yeah. Yes, Robbie. Where do you start? Um, <laughs> it's we're like you started last night. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I started about two months ago. <laughs> but, uh, um, no, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be uh, April 27th is the date, I believe, um, is the official date. I have some things I have to wrap up where, where I am now. But my mind will be very much on UH Athletics during the next month. Uh, this question is from the Chancellor. Uh, in regards to the search itself, um, there was a timetable laid out in late February. What about the search was it that allowed it to move so quickly and find the candidates so early on in the process? Well, we had uh, we'd always hoped to uh, get the search wound up by the end of March. So we're really right on schedule. Uh, it's true that, uh, that Ben Jay's contract runs through the end of June, but uh, I never thought that it would be a good idea to drop the search that long. I think we're really right on schedule. Um, search committee did a great job. Uh, there were a lot of good applicants, and we were able to move, a, move ahead expeditiously. Can we confirm that David's name was the only one that was submitted to you by the committee? I cannot really talk about the internal operations of the search. Any more questions for so, for uh, Dave or for Chester? Uh, either or both. So, um, how about me? We'll do this. Yeah. Yeah. We'll speak. So, what about two plus two equals four? If uh, David isn't starting for April 27th, and the U.S. Athletic Director is hiring a basketball coach. Does that mean the U.S. basketball coach isn't in the for April 27th at least? 
Uh, we, we intend to follow the advice of the new athletic director with respect to the, to the basketball coach. Uh, although he's not getting paid till April 27th. Uh, <laughs> he's working. He's working. He's working, and, uh, and we, we're going to pay attention. To is, uh, <laughs> you can never predict that for sure, uh, but we are going to move as quickly as we can uh, in finding a coach. You want to say that again? I, I just think we're going to do it as expeditiously as possible. Uh, I think it, you know timing is important. Obviously, most important to get the right person for the job, but uh, I think timing is a factor, and you know that 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 will start right up to this press conference. Well, early on into your tenure, there will come a time where you may have to make some tough decisions in regards to staffing, in terms of whether it be basketball or, or football. How do you plan to tackle those kind of decisions? Right, I think you have to um, tackle those um, as directly as possible with um, compassion. But um, you know, those decisions, you, you, when they come to you, you just you just have to do them direct, you know, directly. Um, don't really, you know, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of there's something else on the tip of my tongue I want to say to that, but I don't I don't have it right now. But yeah, just you know, directly and. <laughs> You know, you do your research. You, you meet with people. These are people's lives. I mean, a lot of times people don't understand that these, these are these are people. And you know, business at the end of the day is all about relationships. But you, at the end of the day, you have to do what's right for the program to bring the program forward. Have you fired anyone before? Yes. <laughs> Not lately, though, because I have a great team. They've almost fired me. <laughs> all right. Any more questions? Uh, obviously, yeah. go ahead, Chris. Very public job. Obviously, you're uh, speaking with great candor here, and the level of your connections demonstrate that you have a personality that can reach out. But as far as reaching out to those people in the community, have you thought about the public nature of this job and, and really being you know, wearing that H, I mean, being a symbol? Of it? Yes, I think that's for me. I think that that that, that is. While it's a great opportunity, it's um, a little daunting. I mean, anonymity is important to me. I think that's kind of ends today. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just about the, uh, the opportunity to make an impact. And, you know, basically, we, this is Hawaii's team. You know, there's no pro sports here. I mean, you know, I worked for the Houston Astros, and there were a lot of colleges in Texas. But you, you, had, a, you had a lot of colleges, professional teams here. This is Hawaii's team. People care. People get inspired by it. It is a, a daunting responsibility. And... Uh, I know that um, you know I'm going to have to re represent myself well on the community. I'll make mistakes. Mistakes are okay. I mean, hopefully, I'll admit them straight on, and just and, and then we'll, we'll we'll learn from that. But um, but the um, you know it's all about integrity, and you know our our uh, you know our mantra will be winning with integrity. We want to win, but we want to win with integrity, and I believe we can do that. And that's a great note to end on. Um, we are going to probably make some media availabilities, and then we're also going to eventually clear the room. So the staff, which uh, everyone's here, fantastic. Uh, we'll get an opportunity also to, to talk today. But on behalf of the University of Hawaii, I just want to thank everybody for being here for this, uh, for this great day. And once again, how about a big round of applause for our new athletic director?